Hi, I am Dr. Sachin Suresh Babu, Senior Consultant Head of Neurology at Maitra Hospital and I have with me two of my close friends, uh, Dr. Uh, Tisni, who is working with me as a pediatric uh, uh, neurosurgeon interested in epilepsy and I also have with me Dr. Neelish, he is a Senior Epilepsy Surgeon in charge of the epilepsy program at uh, Dinanath Mangeshkar Hospital at Pune. So welcome to our small heart to heart conversation on the importance of uh, treating epilepsy at large and also especially to find a solution for this uh, recurring seizures. Many times uh, we are okay with patients continuing to have seizures once in a while, but here we are gathered to talk about a permanent solution to recurrent seizures. As we know that epilepsy is a disease which causes a huge burden on the family, on the society, and it continues to torment its victims for an entire lifetime. And uh, what if I say that there is good news for them? There is, there is a permanent solution available for many of these patients, about one third of them at least, will have an anatomical substrate or an abnormal, uh, abnormality inside the brain which can be taken care of by a surgical procedure called epilepsy surgery. Now, uh, no better person to speak on this uh, subject than Dr. Nilesh, who has been traveling in this path for the uh, past several years, almost 10 years or so. And he is one of the leading epilepsy surgeons in the country. He, he operates about 20 patients of epilepsy every month, and he only operates uh, epilepsy cases because he is very passionate and committed to this mission of reading and to delivering patients who are suffering from epilepsy and giving them total freedom, not only from the recurring seizures, but also from the fear and the stigma associated with this condition. So, uh, Niresh, I would like to know from you, uh, from what all, what all insights you can give on this, uh, prob this, uh, this wonderful procedure called epilepsy surgery. How do you see it and uh, what is the promise that it holds and what is the present scenario in India and how, where do you see this procedure going from this uh, or this, uh, this option being taken up by more and more patients? How do you see the future? How do you see the present? Okay, uh, so let's go to the very fundamental thing. Whatever we are talking today is only a drug resistant epilepsy and nothing else, not a simple epilepsy. So, whenever a drug resistant epilepsy is diagnosed, we know that uh, not no drug is going to control it. And the chances of drugs controlling the drug, this epilepsy is less than 5%. And whenever this epilepsy is diagnosed, that's at this juncture we discuss these two options. So, there are two fundamental options. One is uh, continued medical management and the other is surgery. So let, let's understand the differences between these two. Whenever you say you are trying to use a medical option, it means you are try, uh, you, the chances of seizure freedom with the medical option is less than 5%. Compared to surgery, in well-selected patients, surgery can get you 80% of long-term seizure freedom. Means 8 out of 10 people are cured out of their epilepsy and five out of this eight will have a drug freedom. So meaning out of 10, five are completely cured. Three do not have any more seizures, but have to take one or two drugs and two will remain same, but they do not go down. So that's, that's the promise surgery holds. Now let's, let's go further down. When you say you're trying to, uh, trying to treat it with medicines, you will have to take medicines for life because fundamentally you are trying to treat the structural epilepsy with medicines. Here, the side effects of anti-epileptic drugs are huge, which if you go by a surgical route, eight out of these 10 people will not have to take too much of drugs. So the side effects of the drugs are not there. Now coming to the third and most important part, recurring seizures are bad experience to have. So, it, it, it gets an uncertainty in your life. You can have all these scissors anywhere. And that, that essentially takes out the games, uh, education, friends, 
all these things out of you most of these kids who have you know this catastrophic or uh, drug resistant epilepsy early in their life will lose all these things over coming years at the same time if you opt for a surgery you are you are leading a completely normal productive life span now that that's the that's the difference between drug resist uh, sorry the, the medical treatment and surgical treatment now one more uh, most important point normally we say that epilepsy is a quality of life surgery but i have a different perspective to add here majority of the parents they are afraid of brain surgeries and they and because of this fear of brain surgery they continue to give their kids a uh, medical treatment now here let's try to understand there is a very proven literature that if you have a drug resistant epilepsy you continue to take drugs and continues to have seizures the chance of life threatening complication is going to be 1% per year and that is cumulative cumulative means every year this ch- same chance stands so in 5 years this chance become 5% now if you compare let's consider a span of 5 years and you have a drug resistant epilepsy so surgery has only 0.5 to 1% chance of life risk or any major complication versus 5% chance in drug resistant uh, this uh, medical management so now here you will have to understand i say i reiterate again in properly selected cases the surgery epilepsy surgery has survival advantage over continued medical management in these cases so this factor has never been discussed most of the time this is a neglected so if you comp- if you compare all these factors surgical treatment of drug resistant epilepsy wins by a huge margin you are actually epilepsy surgery has a potential to give a productive life span of 60 to 65 years in a well selected cases if they are they are picked up early and treated early so that that's a tremendous potential i would say because 1% of the population in india is known to have epilepsy and majority of these patients i mean uh, the the well controlled epilepsy patient they do not pose significant social burden the social burden the uh, the financial burden comes with the patients from drug resistant epilepsy and out of this 80% of the drug resistant epilepsy patients can be offered one or the other type of epilepsy surgery out of which 70% can be completely curative so look at the potential epilepsy surgery have and unlike other fa- other treatment modalities epilepsy surgery gives you a seizure freedom epilepsy surgery gives you a drug freedom epilepsy surgery reinstates you into a societal fabrics which you are otherwise go- going to go out of it and it gives you a productive life span so productive again productive life span of 60 to 65 years which is huge so uh, i think uh i i think there should be a legislation yeah if if this is the kind of situation epilepsy surgery is offering there has to be a legislation that all drug resistant epilepsy patient should be subjected to a pre surgical evaluation and surgery should be tried first rather than saying it's a last resort that's what it is being uh, right now considered so that's the tremendous potential it holds yeah we should not be having a casual approach to this problem either as a from the entire health sec- healthcare sector the society as well as the patients and their families should follow this approach that uh, when why not uh, when hope is so available so near why continue to take the alternate route so that is the whole point of this discussion and uh, i have dr tisney here with me and she is a pediatric uh, a uh, surgeon with uh, who operates with us in the epilepsy surgical cases uh, uh, especially among children and uh, at the maitra advanced epilepsy center we get a lot of children with recurrent episodes of seizures and these families who come to us uh, we we see them very closely and the kind of suffering that they go through and uh, so how it uh, is uh, me how close to your heart is this Uh, subject of uh, epilepsy surgery and uh, the uh, how passionately you feel about these children and their families and uh, the importance of epilepsy surgery in this age group and what more can we do or uh, collectively 
to you know improve the uh, the accessibility as well as the uh, you know reiterate the importance of this uh, epilepsy surgery in this population now it is seen that uh, epilepsy uh, is seen uh, mostly seen in children and uh, they suffer right from their childhood and uh, in drug refractory epilepsies they have to take these medications throughout their lives uh, uh, apart from uh, the burden of the disease they are socially incapable of going for uh, any activities uh, their schooling is affected their uh, friendship uh, and their activities in with other relatives and everything is affected and when a child is affected it's not just uh, just a child but his parents also that go through the trauma of the disease and uh, all the um, limitations that the disease poses they may not be able to go out freely they may not be able to go out for any outings and of course they have to make sure that the child uh, is safe whenever the epileptic attacks uh, occur so uh, a lot of energy and a lot of time goes in making uh, sure that these children just survive daily you know from every day they are uh, they uh, they have to be saved from a lot of uh, uh, dangerous situations so if at all we identify that there is a ch uh, chance that these children might uh, benefit from a surgery they have to be uh, advised properly uh, they have to uh, firstly everybody should be aware, aware that such an option is available and the benefits that such an option can offer to these children and uh, they have to uh, be subjected to pre operative evaluation and uh, um, uh, evaluate whether the child will benefit from a uh, epilepsy surgery and in such cases the option of surgery has to be uh, given to the children and uh, as dr nilesh has already pointed out it not only improves their uh, uh, outcome for epilepsy alone their social integration their scholastic performance everything improves with this so when a child is subjected to a, a disease of a neurologic system from childhood uh, the brain uh, cannot develop properly so uh, as soon as that uh, insult is reduced and the earlier that is reduced the better the outcome of the child is going to be so we all have to work as a team and make sure that every child who suffers from epilepsy is given this option and uh, managed accordingly at the earliest so in this last few minutes we have had a an in-depth uh, discussion on the importance of epilepsy surgery and there are several other aspects of epilepsy which have to be addressed but this particular small conversation that we have had was to emphasize the importance of epilepsy surgery and I, we will continue to emphasize this because uh, more and more part, sections of the society should come to know about this more and more people suffering from epilepsy should think about it very seriously and avail this option because this is light in the midst of darkness and we have to pursue the light.